Hi, my name is Julie Calza, and I'm here to bring you episode five of the Ask Julie C Real Estate Show. In this episode, we're gonna go over the first two crucial steps in the home buying process. The first step in the home buying process that is crucial to your experience is sitting down with a realtor. You don't have to hire the first realtor that you sit down with, but it's important that you can establish a rapport and comfort level with them. If you don't have this comfort level with your realtor, then you're gonna set yourself up for a bad experience. A lot of personal stuff comes up in the home buying process. If you're not comfortable divulging these details to your realtor, or if every time you reach out to your realtor, you feel like you're bothering them, then that's not a good fit to help you and to ensure that you have a good customer experience. But that's not the only reason why it's crucial for you to sit down with a realtor first. A realtor will be able to give you the most realistic idea as to what you can expect to get for your budget. So when you sit down with this realtor the first time, they should go over the locations you're interested in, the features you're interested in, and what your non-negotiables are. These things might change throughout the process, but it's still important to lay this foundation. Now, after you've done this, your real estate agent should ask you crucial questions like, what does great customer service mean to you? They should ask you this because then they're able to mold your experience to make it the best it possibly can be for you. So this meeting is really about making sure you're giving that professional the, all the tools they need to give you the best customer experience possible. But that's not the only reason. The next reason is that they'll be able to pair you with a local lender who can rate match a big bank, but provide one-on-one -on -one customer service. This is crucial to the process because big banks advertise low rates and that's awesome. The problem with big banks though is one person might take your application, then the next person might tell you how that went, and then the next gives you your conditions for the loan. The point of me telling you that is you get passed around a lot with big banks. So why not go with a local lender who can rate match that big bank, but you always have one person you can call for information on your file. The next crucial step in the home buying process <clears throat> is getting that pre-qualification. Walking into a home without a pre-qualification, all it does is set you up for disappointment. You don't know if you can comfortably afford that home. You might fall in love with it and then it's outside your budget comfort zone. If that's the case, you may end up going for it anyway just to be miserable down the road every month when you have to pay for your house. No realtor should try to push you to max out your budget or to go above it. So make sure that they're staying in line and they're helping you stay in line. Trust me, it may sound harsh, but it'll help you a lot later. Remember, meet with your realtor first, then get that pre-qualification. These have been the two first crucial steps in the home buying process. Do you have any questions about this episode or ideas for future episodes? If so, message me on Facebook. I'm still the only Julie Calza on there. That's Charlie Alpha Lima Zulu Alpha for the last name. Or use the hashtag AskJulieC on Facebook or Twitter, and I'll sift through your questions that way. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.